Hey guys and welcome. This is Tattoo Tips for Beginners. I'm going to run through some tips that I wish that I knew when I started uh, getting into the tattoo industry and what I think you should know. So first up, hygiene. That is the most important thing when it comes to tattooing. That's what I would look at first and before you start anywhere make sure you look at some courses or if you're in an apprenticeship that's what you need to know at the very start so everything is safe not just for you but for the customer and everything that is involved with the tattoo process. Next up is don't run before you can walk and what I mean by that is don't tattoo things that are well too hard for you to start with. You want to be focusing on the small little designs that you can absolutely knock out the park and even then for a while afterwards practice harder techniques through smaller designs don't be trying to start out with going at doing like portraits um, within the first couple of years that's where you can easily things can go wrong you don't know quite what you're doing yet how they will heal so focus on the small things that you can absolutely smash and then that's where your reputation will come from and your designs will all be good. <laughs> learn somewhere good and what I mean by that is learn somewhere where you have the opportunity to grow and it's a decent setup. You see a lot of people now and they grab the first opportunity that they can find and it is very hard to get a good opportunity or get in at a good shop uh, in the tattoo industry but the last thing you want to end up doing is learning somewhere where it's apprentices learning apprentices you need room to grow and you need to find that artist that you look up to you like the work they've got a nice shop they have bookings and you want you want to learn of someone that you can be and aspire to be next up is study the industry I went to a lot of conventions and traveled the world to get in the knowledge that I've got now and that's what I would highly recommend if you're getting into tattooing go to all the conventions see all the other artists and styles and different cultures in the tattooing it helps a massive lot and you will gain knowledge that you can't pay for. You will meet lots of different people and if you're into something that's where you want to go. You want to be where it's all happening and that's tattoo conventions. Draw and design your own stuff. In the tattooing industry copying other people's work is a huge no-no and you want to learn how to draw everything and design your own designs that people will want to come to you for and get your own style. It's very hard in the beginning to get your own style and where to start and it's fine taking inspiration and practicing with stuff like that but really try and create your own designs even if they're just small when you start out little small flash sheets and stuff like that. That'll be a good place for you to practice your tattooing, your style and draw things up the right way. <laughs> Fake skin. This is something that is very popular now and I wish it was more accessible when I started tattooing. I would 100% recommend before you tattoo any person that you practice and practice on fake skin. There's lots of different brands out there, um, do your research, obviously the more expensive the better, um, but that's where you can really nail your techniques and get your work to how you want it to be and get a lot of practice in before you then take the leap to tattoo in an actual person. Join groups and what I mean by that is join social groups on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you might find that have groups of people who are learning just like you. This helps me massively no matter how good you are or what level you are 
getting the insight to people's knowledge in these groups and what they're experiencing or their techniques or what's working for them. There's lots of groups now on Facebook and wherever that have all this information and lots of people who are learning as well. I'd recommend watching any tutorials, look on YouTube, whether it's not just mine, there's lots of really good artists out there putting really knowledgeable content out for people to learn and to grow from and all of it's free. Set goals and this is something that is massive for me. Throughout my tattoo career and my learning process I've always had goals and wrote down goals and had things to tick off and to aim at. Um, without these goals I, don't, I would probably feel lost. So for me writing down goals and things I want to achieve it gives me something to work towards. One at a time. And what I mean by one at a time is when you're tattooing and on a real person, that is where all your focus is going. Focus on that one thing and it doesn't matter if you have someone booked in later on, anything going on outside of that, when you're tattooing that's all you focus on and that's that's when you won't make mistakes that's the biggest bit of advice that I got when I was tattooing and throughout my apprenticeship is when you've got that client sat down and you're doing that tattoo that is all you have to think about getting that tattoo right and putting all your effort and energy into that one piece to make it nice and your customers will appreciate that <coughs> Social media. In the tattooing now, social media like Instagram, Facebook is a big thing and it's where a lot of tattoo bookings come from nowadays. Really try your best to work on your social media and don't be scared to post up your work. That's what it's there for and that's what people want to see from you. Try and engage as much as you can with the people and your customers. Um, it's very hard social media to give advice on but what I would say is have fun with it and enjoy it and the right people will come to you. Use the correct equipment that's a big thing in the tattoo industry. Um, look on the most popular sites for example Killer Inc, Barber DTS, order from somewhere reputable and somewhere that has proper equipment the last thing you want to be doing is working with not the correct stuff, fake stuff, because there's lots out there. Go on the reputable sites and order good stuff. And if you don't know what is the best equipment, look at some artists you're following and see what they're using. That's what I did when I started learning. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you're enjoying the videos. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get back to answering them as soon as I can. Until then, hit subscribe, do me a favour and let me know what you want to see next.